Hi gang, Scott here. Today's the day on one announced Photo Raw 2023, and man, have they been busy packing features into this next version of the software. I wanna talk about four of the features I think are the most exciting that are coming in the software, and I'll talk about a few of the others as well, pricing and availability, that sort of stuff. I haven't gotten my hands on the software yet, so I'll show some screenshots so you can uh, get an idea of what the software is going to look like. And if this looks intriguing to you, you're a current Photo Raw user, you're going to be upgrading. I'd appreciate it if you use the link in the show notes. Gives me a little bit of support, doesn't cost you anything extra, and give my offer code a try. That can save you a little bit of money when you're looking to get some new software. So let's get into these features of Photo Raw 2023. Amazing feature number one, Super Select AI. And this is ridiculously cool. It's gonna change the way that you approach masking in Photo Raw. So instead of reaching for one of the masking tools, quite often to start with, you'll reach for Super Select AI. And what this, what this tool does is it understands the objects and elements in your photo. And as you hover over areas, you can kind of click on them and just build up segments of your photo once you have the thing selected that you want, right click on it, you get your filters, your local adjustments, and you can apply different treatments to just the things you've selected, right? So, you know, it used to be add a filter and then go back and mask. It's the other way around now. And this is a much more natural workflow in my opinion, because when you are adjusting your images, you should be thinking about, I want certain treatment on these elements. I want a different treatment on this other element. Those are the things that make our photos really strong. Super Select AI is going to make this uh, approach to editing uh, just a lot more fluid. So this is by far, in my opinion, the best feature coming in Photo Raw 2023. And it lends itself to amazing feature number two, which is Mask AI. So if you have software that understands what things are in your photo, well, it follows that wouldn't it be great if when I'm creating presets or wanting to build a mask after the fact, I can tap into that same amount of AI. Well, that's what Mask AI does. It, you know, it's built into the, the tools here. Like when you open up the filter panel, you see this section on the left side that says apply with masks. So if you still want to work with, I want to pick a filter and I want to apply it to just plants or animals or people. You know, these are examples that you see here in this screenshot. You pick those things, choose your filter, and the mask gets built for you. And this stuff you get to save in presets. So you can build very powerful presets. Say you do a lot of pet photography, for example, and you want to build a preset that understands what animals are because you want to treat them in a certain way. And the, 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 the topics, like the, the elements of the photo that will show up in this panel area, it, it will depend on the photo you've selected. So if you've started with an architecture photo, so you do lots of photos of architecture, well then those types of things will show up as recognized elements that you can build an AI powered mask for and save that into a preset so that when you wanna create you know, very uh, content aware presets, you'll be able to do that in Photo Raw 2023. So Mask AI, that's amazing feature number two. Amazing feature number three is Keyword AI. You're detecting a theme here, right? AI, AI is everywhere in Photo Raw 2023 and it's in keywords. And what Keyword AI, it works like you'd expect it to work. It will examine your photo, understand all the different elements and then produce keywords for them. These keywords are searchable within Photo Raw, so you can find all of your photos that uh, have waterfalls in them or were taken with a Christmas tree in them or have people or have animals, uh, low key, high key. There's a lot of different controls there. But what's nice, what's uh, like an attention to detail that On One has done is these AI keywords are kept in a specific area of the metadata in an AI keywords area. That's distinct and separate from keywords you may have already added. So if you are the type of person, kind of like me, you like your keywords in a certain way, the AI keywords won't uh, interfere with keywords you've already added 
unless you want them to. You can select an AI keyword and add it as a proper keyword or a classic keyword that will be exported with your photo. So if you're doing stock photography or something, you might want to take those AI keywords, add them to the photo, then export so you get additional searching. Inside Photo Raw, the AI keywords are available, and there's quite a bit of control you have over those AI keywords. In the preferences, there are a variety of things you can choose to include or exclude from keyword AI. You know, everything from you know photographic properties, which would be like you know the the the, the lenses and the cameras and things like that, uh, to the objects, the elements ages of people, genders of people, uh, whether or not you want to include you know, your location, you know, all, all sorts of things that you have control over with keyword AI. So this is a really nice one. Now, I know keywording for many people, not something you enjoy doing, but you do have a need from time to time to say, you know, show me all the photos that have, you know, I don't know, bookshelves in them or whatever the things that, that Photo Raw is going to detect. You get that with keyword AI. So that's amazing feature number three. And amazing feature number four is Tack Sharp AI. This is you know, automatic sharpening, but to improve photos that are slightly soft. You know, this isn't like print sharpening or you know, sharpening for output. Uh, this is where you had a little bit of camera shake, or there was a little motion blur in the scene. You know, the 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 subject is moving a little bit. You get into the the Tack Sharp AI area. It's it's built into the same place that you're doing your noise reduction. And you can adjust for those you know, those types of photos where you know, the, the focus was just slightly off or your, your hands moved a little bit or it was really windy even though you were on a tripod and had some you know just some vibration because of the elements. Tack Sharp AI is going to give you the uh, AI smarts and those capabilities to salvage those photos, to you know, bring them back into focus and be able to use them uh, for your body of work. So that's amazing feature number four in Photo Raw 2023, Tack Sharp AI. And of course, there are some other improvements in Photo Raw 2023 as well. Uh, they've got some content aware crop improvements now. So you know, if you've ever cropped a photo and then had to rotate it and you start to lose parts to the corner, this this will take care of that. Uh, there's color fringe detection improvements, so chromatic aberration. Those algorithms are getting better. Uh, Sky Swap AI gets improvements. Quick Mask AI gets improvements. New cameras, you know, the the normal types of things we would see with a software update. Now for pricing and availability, it's a uh, September sixth, twenty twenty two. As I record this, the guidance is that. Photo Raw 2023 will be available in October, uh, beginning, middle, end. You, know, you you can you can place your bets. So let's call it six to eight weeks. That's Scott's opinion. That's not guidance from On One, but sometime in October is when we'll see the software. For the pricing, if you're a On One subscriber, you subscribe to On One Plus. I think they have an elite program now you get the new software as part of your subscription. So it's already there. Now, if you wanted to subscribe, I think the cost is, let me check my notes here, is $7.99 a month or $89.99 for the year. If you want to become an On One subscriber and get the free updates, you get the Photo Raw, you get any of the On One plugins. So when they do plugin versions for 2023, you get all that stuff. And they also include you know, access to courses and other perks as being a subscriber. If you are a person that just wants a perpetual license, you want to buy the software once, own it, and run it for as long as you like, the price is $99.99 for a new user, meaning you're, you're not currently using Photo Raw 2022, for example. Or if you're upgrading, upgrade price is $79.99. So there is a discount for those that are upgrading from 2022 to 2023. You can pre order now, and again, the software can be available in. October. And uh, if you are going to purchase, I would again appreciate it if you could use the link I have in the show notes. Doesn't cost you anything extra. Gives a little support my way so I can do more tutorial and informational videos about On One software. Uh, any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. You can be sure I'll be putting up some more content about the features of 2023 once I get my hands on the software. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.